This silver quarter, for example, brought someone thousands of dollars. The present example is silver clad issue in Mint State 69. For your information, the top grade in numismatic grading, otherwise called Sheldon scale, is 70. Though the net vintage for 1976 as silver clad business strike is not that low, it is considered of utmost rarity in given condition. Even under magnification, the exquisite preservation of this modern silver clad piece is highly impressive. The subtlest hints of champagne patina are seen over a verse, while the reverse is essentially untoned. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to do it so to get daily high definition coin videos. So this one ended up selling for $19,200 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1966 Kennedy half dollar in mid state 67, conditionally rare circulation issue. Also comes with extravagant toning. The regular issue, 1966 Kennedy half dollar, is scars in MS66 and rare any finer. This example shows both strikes throughout and surfaces yield undisturbed any luster. Both sides show large areas of crimson, violet, spruce green and sun gold toning, sold for $9400 at heritage auctions. Moving on with this 1932 Washington quarter with meat mark D. The tiny meat mark is on reverse of this coin as compared to quarters of 80s or 90s, where meat mark is located near the date. Graded in mint state 65 by PCGS, the 1932 D. Washington quarter is a valuable coin among collectors due to its rarity and historical significance. The quarter depicts the first president of United States, George Washington, on the front and eagle on the back. The coin was minted in Denver in 1932 during the Great Depression, which had significant impact on the U.S. economy at the time. The 1932 D. Washington quarter is known for its low mintage with only 436,800 coins produced that year. The present coin displays exquisite preservation, the subtlest hints of champagne patina, are seen on a verse while the reverse is essentially untoned. This is 1989 D. Lincoln sent in mean state 65 red. What makes this error coin so valuable is that it was struck on a pre-1983 copper planchet by mistake or who knows, maybe intentionally. The remarkable aspect of this intriguing mint error is that copper planchets were last used for coinage in 1982 seven years before this piece was struck. Copper blanks in early 1982 weighed 3.11 grams and had a composition of 95% copper and 5% zinc. The zinc planchets used from that point through 1989 and to the present were composed of nearly pure zinc core with copper plating for a total composition of 97.5% zinc and 2.5% copper that weighed only 2.5 grams. Perhaps the copper planchet remained hidden for years within the crevices of mint machinery or transport equipment. Or perhaps a planchet supplier mixed in a copper planchet that had been set aside as a souvenir. It ended up selling for $7,500 at heritage auctions. Here is 1939 Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 66 Plus with Full Steps. Full Steps is highly sought after variety among most Jefferson Nickel issues. But what also impacts to the price of this example is that it displays die doubling on reverse. The doubling is strongest on Monticello and 5 cents. This 1939 Jefferson Nickel was boldly struck from some vote eroded die with evidence of considerable die fatigue evident in fields. Satiny mint luster and pale golden color wash over beautifully preserved surfaces. Sold on April 23, 2020 for $6,600 at Heritage Auctions. And this is 1977 Kennedy half dollar in mint state 62, rare transitional alloy error, meaning it was struck on a 40% silver black instead of copper nickel clad. The 40% silver alloy and holdover from 1965 debasement was supposed to have been struck for the final time on the 1976S Bicentennial of dollar and Ike dollar, but the very small quantity of misplaced or leftover 40% silver planchets ended up between dies for the next year's coinage. Luster is lightly toned, sharply struck and well preserved, sold for $5,875 at heritage auctions.